Our ninth female architect was Edith Mortensen Northman, and she was born October 8, 1893, in Copenhagen, Denmark. She was the daughter of a Danish father and a Swedish mother, and the family relocated to Norway when Edith was nine. She was educated through high school in Norway, but moved back to Copenhagen to study art for two years at Copenhagen Studio School of Arts. Nevertheless, in 1914, she and her family moved to the United States. And by 1916, they had settled in Brigham City, Utah, about 60 miles north of Salt Lake City. It was there that Edith worked as a librarian for at least two years, though she began to develop an interest in architecture. Actually, she had read something about architects and decided that this was the field for her. Hence, by 1918, Edith moved to Salt Lake City, where she was employed by Eugene R. Whelan as a junior draftsman. Yet Edith had some health problems unidentified, and in 1920, she was advised to move to Southern California. She eventually worked with architect Henry J. Knauer, and finally with Clarence J. Smale, finally became chief draftsman. Edith later said, in those days, the early 1920s, women in architects' offices were somewhat curiosities. She added that she got into one office on the strength of being able to typewrite with two fingers. Fortunately, Edith's drafting was very good. Edith opened her own firm and then almost immediately became an architectural student at the University of Southern California, USC, during the years 1927 through 1930. She received her architectural degree from USC in 1930 and apparently became a naturalized citizen that same year on July 25. She passed the architectural state boards in 1931, and since she had her own company, was at last able to design buildings for clients by herself. Actually, she did hire one draft person to help. Starting during the Great Depression, Edith Northman designed at least 100 buildings. They were quite varied and included a church, a synagogue, gas stations, factories, various commercial buildings, single-family homes, multi-family buildings, hotels. Locations of Northland buildings include Hancock Park, south of Hollywood, Beverly Hills, west of Hollywood, Los Feliz, east of Hollywood, Wilshire Park, Hancock Park is part of Wilshire Park, Los Angeles, Palm Springs, about 107 miles southeast of Los Angeles. Fresno, about 208 miles northwest of Los Angeles. Around 1935, Edith Northman took on a very large commission for the Union Oil Company and designed at least 50 gas stations from San Diego to Vancouver, Washington. She also designed the Danish Lutheran Church in Los Angeles, though no usable photos could be found. However, the church was built in 1937, utilizing a Danish country style. Yet Northman led a very private life, content to have her dachshund Hans as her companion. Nevertheless, she was very competitive and certainly succeeded in the man's world of architecture. Interestingly, she had clients in the film industry and built at least one home on Rodeo Drive in Beverly Hills. In 1939, a Fresno woman, E. E. Elzia, succeeded in having Northman prepare plans for Fresno's Normandy Bar apartments in Fresno's somewhat flashy Tower District. Elzia had seen Northman's work in Los Angeles and wanted her for the job. Supposedly, the structure by Northman added some sophistication to an otherwise gaudy neighborhood, best example by the Tower Theater. Two photos of this theater, taken in approximately 2012, now follow. There was only one usable high-resolution photo of the Norman D. Marr apartments, but two low-resolution images have also been added. Edith Northman joined the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers during World War II and mostly worked on fortifications and other military projects. As she said, she designed everything under the sun from pit latrines to hospital buildings. However, following the war, Northman seemed to specialize in hotels and apartment buildings in Los Angeles and Palm Springs. Various bits of data from Ancestry now follow. In 1921, she lived at 603 Orange in Los Angeles. In 1930, she still lived in Los Angeles, but had moved to a different address. 
In the 1940 census, she lived at 3052 one half West Pico Boulevard in Los Angeles. She was listed as 46 with her occupation as architect. She lived in a rented dwelling, and the household members were Judith M. Taylor, 68, and Edith Northman, 46. Her age is probably off by one year. In May 1942, she was listed as Edith Mortensen Northman and had two other household members, Judith Northman and Jens M. Mortensen. One of the beautiful homes that Edith Northman designed in Los Angeles, the Los Feliz area, is the Inslee House. The following photo shows how it appeared around the year 2010. Yet, by the 1950s, Edith Northman was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease, and she was forced to leave the profession in which she had excelled for so long. Edith Northman died on March 23, 1956, at the age of 62. She never married and had no children. However, she left behind a plethora of artistic and practical buildings.